genuine risk raced into her four-year-old year before an injury ended her career. She finished in the money in all 15 of her starts with earnings of almost $650,000. But the genuine risk story did not end there. She made history again in 1982 when she was bred to Secretariat, the first mating ever between Kentucky Derby winners. But the result was a stillborn colt. What followed were years of frustration as genuine risk failed to produce a single fall. Until May 15, 1993 at 5.05 p.m., when she delivered a healthy colt sired by Rahi, the stallion standing at Three Chimneys Farm in Kentucky. Seeing her as a mom, it was marvelous. They, uh, she's paraded that foal like she, she'd done the best thing in her life. The foal was named Genuine Reward. He had everything, great breeding, a great name, but no racing luck. He never made it to the races after a recurring problem with inflammation in his shins. He was sent back to the Firestones farm in Virginia. But genuine risks place in history and racing's Hall of Fame was made on the track during that spring of 1980. And she became only the second filly to win the Kentucky Derby and the first to go on to finish second in the Preakness and Belmont.